Dr. Randy Bivens. When the Beatles wrote the popular song, Here Comes the Sun, they might have been celebrating the sun's return to their rainy home in England. It's warm, it's bright, the sun is generally thought to be a pretty happy component in our everyday lives. But why do we need it? What makes it indispensable to our lives? Two words, vitamin D. There is a cholesterol-like compound in our blood that transforms into vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. This vitamin D is then converted to its active form by the liver and then by the kidneys. Well, that begs the question, why do we need vitamin D? What happens if you don't have enough? For years, we've understood vitamin D's role in regulating calcium levels and how a deficiency can cause both rickets and osteoporosis. Today, we know that vitamin D also has an important role as a steroid hormone in gene modulation. This means vitamin D can help turn on health-promoting genes while suppressing bad genes, especially oncogenes, a gene group that promotes cancer. And let us not forget vitamin D's very important role as an antioxidant. Sun exposure among men was studied in a recent cancer research article. Those receiving the most sun experienced a 50% reduction in prostate cancer relative to those who received the least sun. This is only one example as vitamin D has also been shown to reduce many other types of cancer. This doesn't mean that you should spend every minute of every day basking under the sun. Most people need to spend only a short time in the sun to maintain healthy vitamin D levels. Once a person makes enough vitamin D, any extra is turned into inactive substances. An adequate storage of vitamin D during summer months usually provides sufficient amounts for the winter months. There are two wavelengths of ultraviolet radiation that we should be aware of, UVA and UVB. The production of vitamin D requires UVB radiation, which is blocked by most sunscreens. It's the UVA rays that are not blocked by most sunscreens, yet are the most dangerous for most types of skin cancer. What this means is that by using a sunscreen product, you've reduced your vitamin D level. You've also done very little to decrease your risk for skin cancer. Ultimately, sunshine is important for cancer reduction, rickets prevention, and reducing osteoporosis. Moreover, sunshine can also keep you happy. You might have heard of seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD, or SAD. It's a type of depression that occurs at the same time every year, starting in the fall and then improving in the spring. This type of depression is energy draining and makes you feel moody, often for what frustratingly feels like no reason at all. If you're going through this now, go and try to find a patch of sun. SAD is caused by decreasing amounts of sunlight and colder weather. Providing bright light at the correct wavelength is called phototherapy. Researchers have found that this changes the chemistry of the brain while boosting vitamin D levels. In fact, phototherapy in the form of light boxes radically improves SAD. Phototherapy is an option, but choosing to have your home in an area where the sun often shines is ideal. It's understandable that not everyone can live next to a sunny beach, but we encourage you to do your best to make sun a priority. Incorporate just 20 to 30 minutes of natural warmth bringing and mood lifting sunlight in your life and see how it works to lead you down a path of wellness.